This video is to assist if you've just started treatment with us for plantar fasciitis and heel pain. If you haven't started with us, there should be some helpful tips in this video that will help you improve your plantar fasciitis or heel pain. So if you've just been into our clinic and you've just looked at starting a course of treatment, this video will help give us a bit of a recap and also we'll go through the exercises that we would have given you in that consult. So just to recap, if you've, I'm assuming you've had your initial assessment and you've had your x-ray viewing, we've gone through your x-ray and you would have been advised that the underlying cause of your plantar fasciitis and heel pain is a level of misalignment within your foot and ankle, usually through this area here, which is causing you to compensate through your plantar fascia and causing heel pain and discomfort. So when you come in to see us, it's just a very light, quick mobilization like you would have had in, in your consult either today or, or earlier this week. And we probably hit it with laser and then we also gave you some exercises. So the, mo the purpose of the mobilizations is that they help to correct the underlying cause and that, that we know that 60 to 70 percent of the results of our treatment process is related to the hands-on technique that we are doing. Yes, absolutely, the laser helps to get you out of pain much, much faster and is very, very helpful. Uh, and then the exercises we know are worth about 30 or 40 percent of the progression of the treatment. If you just do the exercises, yes, they will help, but they won't take the place of the hands-on treatment that we are doing. The benefits of seeing out the treatment is, is that you won't be restricted to orthotics in most cases, not restricted to certain types of footwear, and you can keep being active throughout the process. Obviously, there's variations within people's needs within this, but usually they're the main outcomes and the main reasons that people come to see us. And it's not unrealistic to, to expect those things from, it, from our treatment process. What I would say is that it's really, really important to see out your treatment process. And if you've been prescribed a 12 week cycle of treatment, it's really important to get to your 12 weeks. Otherwise, in many cases, you don't retain those changes in our experience. The way that we do this is that when you come into the clinic, we will mobilize your foot, which takes three to five minutes. We'll usually hit it with laser or something like that, or even acupuncture in some cases. And then you also do your exercises at home. So we're gonna go through your exercises now, uh, just to reinforce what we've done at the clinic, but we know that we go through a lot in that session. So the idea is that you can get a, a, a more accurate sort of view of that. You should have been given some sheets when you're in the clinic and you were probably given a dowel as well. And so we'll go through those exercises now for plantar fasciitis and heel pain. So the first one that we would have probably given you is the dowel exercise. If we gave you the tennis ball instead, probably because we think you're a little bit ten too tender for the dowel and you will probably get this anyway at some stage. So this, to give you some context, this dowel exercise is actually taken from some studies around plantar fasciitis and shows that your plantar fascia loves tough love. So your plantar fascia runs from here down to here. It's very, very tough tissue. Fascia is one of the toughest tensile substances that we know of. And you, if you do have heel pain or plantar fasciitis, the odds are you've got micro tearing through this area here. And so what the dowel helps to do is it helps to rejuvenate those tissues and stimulate those tissues so that you get one heel faster because um, it actually promotes cell growth through the plantar fascia and the heel pain. But it also helps to make you more robust for the rest of your life through your plantar fascia. So the way that we do this is what we would advise most people is to start with one foot. And so what we advise people is that we would start here and we put we would start with sort of one foot here, take some weight on your foot. If you want to lean on something, you even can do that. And we would advise you to start just back from the base of your toes in here. Okay, and so what we are doing is that start this here, one foot here, hold on to something if you need to, and then you just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it's just breaking up the tightness through that area. Try and keep it like a five or a six out of 10 in terms of discomfort. It should be uncomfortable, if not hurt for you to do. If it's absolutely excruciating, put more weight on this foot. And so that's how you're going to start it. So if you're one of those people where you think, oh, it doesn't hurt too much, then you can go to two feet, but start with one foot. And then the second one with two feet, the way it works is you stand here like this, you walk along, and when you hit a sore spot, one, two, three, four. There's no sore spots, you don't stop. One, two, three, four. Now the other thing is people watch me do this and think it won't hurt. Just be aware if you've got plantar fasciitis, it will hurt. But in saying that though, it is designed 
to stimulate those tissues. So you're gonna go over that, should only take you 20 to 30 seconds, and you're gonna do that twice a day, ideally. Uh, really, really great to do before you uh, go and exercise or when you get your day started, because it will loosen those tissues up and create that big stimulating healing process. So that's the first one. The second one, now, the way we do this one, this is to strengthen these tissues. So with this exercise, we are turning on all of your arch and your ankle muscles to help to turn on those tissues. Um, in effect, we're building an orthotic inside your foot. So the way that we do this is that you get yourself a step. So it can be any household step. It doesn't have to be an IKEA step like this. Any household step is fine. If you live in an apartment, a couple of thick books or even anything that's elevated. It has to be elevated and get yourself a step. Now, make it a step, sorry, get yourself a bath towel. Make it a thick towel, all right? So that's quite thick. Just a hand towel is not gonna be enough. And the purpose of the towel is it causes your big toe to flex. So when we flex our big toe through that area, we turn on all of these tissues in here. And if we turn on all of those tissues, it, It'll, it, it turns on all these muscles and we're gonna go up and down and we're gonna do it 10 times twice a day. So it's very quick, so like this. See my big toes are flexed and then we go down, one, two, three, and then up. At about that speed, okay? So it should only really take you 30 seconds and ideally you would do that twice a day, every day. The idea is that's gonna build up all of the strength through that area. But some key points with that, make sure you use a towel. You've got to use a towel, otherwise it's a waste of time. Do it off a step if you can. If you've been prescribed to do it off the floor, that means whoever you, means either myself or another practitioner feels like they're concerned about your, that, that the step is too much for you at this stage. But at this stage, go, if you've been prescribed off the step, do it off the step. If you have an Achilles issue, do it off the floor, just as a side note. But yeah, we find both of those very, very successful at, at facilitating and assisting in our, in our treatment for heel pain and plantar fasciitis. So just a couple of key points, try and be as consistent as you can. You can, it's not all about the exercises, but the exercises very much help. I must admit it's very important that these go with the mobilizations that we are doing. And if you don't come in for the mobilizations, they usually won't work as well, unfortunately. So just be aware of that. And please be aware over the course of treatment, it's very normal to have ups and downs, particularly with plantar fasciitis and heel pain. It's very normal to have good days and bad days. I hear that all the time that people bring that up. If you do exercise on it, that's fine. Just We just ask that you keep a level of perspective that when you do more on it and it flares up, I would say that's completely normal, particularly in the early stages, in the first four to six weeks of treatment. Just keep that in mind uh, when you do that. Doesn't mean you're doing long-term damage necessarily, and we understand you've got to keep your sanity so you can keep fit, healthy, and active. We try not to restrict people's activity when they come to see us, but we just ask that you keep perspective with that. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask us. I hope that was helpful, and if not, refer off your sheets, and we'll go from there. If you've got any questions about this video, please place it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them.